Saudi Arabia and Iran are now restoring full diplomatic relations following seven years of tensions. The breakthrough was negotiated with the help of China. Both countries will reopen embassies within months. Experts hoping the move will lower the chance of armed conflict between the Middle East rivals. It may also end the long war in Yemen, which both countries have a stake in. Well, the 95th Oscar ceremony is being held as a historic one for Asians in Hollywood because everything everywhere all at once leads the field with 11 nominations. Now, the movie is the favorite after winning numerous previous awards. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon has been tracking the movie since the New York Film Critics Award show in early January. It was the start of a long roll for everyone involved with everything, everywhere, all at once. But I think in a lot of ways this film kind of blew up what people imagined um, an AAPI film could be. It is a breakthrough, says one scholar, who points to Michelle Yeoh as one reason why. She played all different kind of role, and she was able to synthesize all her understanding into one this particular character. Her fellow performers in the Screen Actors Guild agreed with Professor Choi. I think if I speak, my heart will explode. We caught up to her when she took home an earlier trophy. It means the world to me, but I think it means so much more to everyone that looks like me, and we are here to stay. Michelle Yeoh never left, but for her co-star this Oscar, Oscar season represents an astonishing comeback. Wow, holy smoke! Decades after he starred opposite Indiana Jones. When I decided to get back to acting, all I really wanted was just a job. I, I, I you know, a steady job. Kiwi Kwan has gotten so much more, and he has plenty of company. Look at us now, huh? Oscar favorites going for the gold have put Asians front and center. But their influence extends to other movies as well. I didn't notice what I was becoming. Living is a movie about a British man facing death, but it is based on a movie by Japan's greatest filmmaker and written by Kazuo Ishiguro. You know, I must have been very, very good in a previous life because, you know, you get a Nobel laureate writing a screenplay specifically for you. No wonder there's talk now of an Asian renaissance in Hollywood. I'm Sandy Kenyon. Eyewitness News. We'll stay with Channel 7 for a special lineup tomorrow. We kick things off at 1 p.m. with a countdown to the Oscars. Then there's a special edition of World News Tonight at 4.30 p.m. followed by Eyewitness News at 5. Then on the red carpet live at 5.30.